Hey Dom Jack Guru here with hot new game Colette's Sugar Madness, which uh, is about what it says. I'm kidding, that's not a name that would let anyone think they knew the game. I've heard there's some 80s uh, Sega game in there. In one of the trailers, uh, I can use my controller, right? Oh my god. It's a trick-or-treating sim. What? Uh, yeah. In one of the trailers, it showed Ken playing the Fist of the North Star uh, 1980s Sega Master System. No! Game! Oh, that was terrible. I shouldn't have jumped on her head. That was terrible of me. Uh, but just FYI, if you want to watch any of my videos, uh, be, just be warned, I am playing the entire game as Kazuma Kiryu from, uh, Yakuza. Yeah! Oh my god, did I just steal that guy's candy? Boom! Nobody makes the jump but me. This is cute. Uh, yes, I'm chatting with people on the stream because, uh, oh no! She's so mad because they wouldn't give her candy. Oh, yes. Well, this is pretty cute. I don't know if I'm on board with Colette's love of violence just yet, but it is a pretty adorable game. And if this costs in the 2 to $3 range, there's a good chance you'll enjoy it. Although it might, like, it might only be three levels big. I don't know yet. Receiving transmission. <laughs> Stop it, Colette! What is wrong with you? Really? Um, I know this is, uh, gonna make you ashamed of me, and I apologize in advance. I'm playing it with the English voices, so... I will not be finding out a lot about the, uh... I may later play it again with the, uh... Yeah, you bounce on their head, the thief's head, to get the candy back. Nice. This is a very cleverly designed level game. Bravo. Damn it, I missed him. Anyway. 295 candy already? What is she going to do this time? <laughs> That's cute. Oh, this time we have to climb, huh? I can do that. There's a heavy momentum factor to her movement. It's taking some getting used to. Uh, yeah, so I'm playing the game with the, uh... Wow tonight. Uh, American Voices. Because, you know, I've already played through the whole game. Well, not the whole game. I didn't do any of the submissions. Really. Uh, that was weird. What's behind the door? Oh, finally something went well for her. Oh no! It's Slenderman, everybody. He's taking all of my candy! You bastard! I guess I'm supposed to turn around and Yeah! Oh damn it, that didn't work at all. Oh, you can jump on his head. That should help. Haha, -ha, tricked you. Or did I? I did. Kind of. I like the little arrow telling you where you are even when you're off screen. Haha! -ha. Colette, you are the best at this. Come on, why is there no bed of spikes we can jump and drop him into? Why can't this suddenly turn into that Ninja Cat game we were playing last week? Yes! That was awesome! Oh, she's got a new costume! For World 2. I guess there's four worlds? Hook, K, Key, or Right Bumper. Okay. Oh, you have to hook onto ropes. Cute. This is nice. Maybe it'd be better if I learned to... Uh, what is rebuild, Flying Wonder Girl? If I may ask. I can't believe that the boss stole your candy. 
<laughs> oh, he actually turned over a candy, but she was disappointed by, let's face it, the legit... Oh, right, the rope. I forgot I was supposed to use rope. Right, that was embarrassing. I forgot these weren't platforms. Yeah. I would like that candy corn, please. Even though, yes, in real life, candy corn is super disgusting and no one should ever eat it, ever. Oh my god, they're living candy monsters, and so you can steal candy by jumping on them. No! Colette! Be more careful than you're being. I get that. So weird that they would do... I mean, I guess I get why they would do Goro's Majima for... Um, uh, for Jaggy, but it's just... You know, Goro Majima, he's crazy, but he's such a lovable character. And why wouldn't you save that actor for, um... Uh, why wouldn't you save that actor for, like, oh, uh, Ryuga? That's the name of the cloud, right? <laughs> Colette, you get better every second. Bounce. Sorry, kids. I'm better at candy than you are. Oh, you can grab the edge of those ledges, too. You know what? I must have done that already. No! Oh, that was close. Do, do, do. I wonder if this is... Oh, that was close. No! You fool! You foolish fool! What is that two green thing at the top left was. Am I in world two, or... Was I not holding down the button? Weirdest thing about the game, though, playing the entire game with, uh... Kazuma Kiryu DLC put in, is how much... I mean, again, it's by the same writer, so it's not a huge surprise, but just how perfectly most of his interactions... Uh and dialogue fit into the mouth of Kazuma Kiryu. Oh, okay. So it's called Rebuild. It's a zombie game. Is it... Uh, is it recent? Rebuild is what it's called. And more importantly, can I get it on Steam? Because that is usually what de ah, determines 80% of what I play. I'll say this about this game. It's got some clever level design. And it's weirdly low stress about it. Like, there's no, um, there's no auto-scrolling screens, so you're never stressed about, uh, falling behind. There's no lives, so there's no penalty for getting killed, like... I mean, this really it does seem like a pretty kid-friendly. No! They got away! Pretty kid-friendly platformer. She didn't even try knocking anymore. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to give it a try. You rebuild two and three as well. Gotcha. I will look for them on Steam. And let's face it, wait for them to be on sale. Although, if, since they're zombie games, that will probably... Ah! Mega Man! Ah, uh, that will probably be ha happening soon, since it is a uh, horror game sale time. I gotta start thinking... I gotta start making a list of horror games I need to, like... Make sure I front load them in my uh, wish list. No! Again, there's no punishment for falling down. This is great. This is the kind of thing I wished I could have played as a kid. Oh, okay. All right, Slenderman's back, everybody. And he, I thought I saw him on the right and I was wrong. Aha! He can't use hook powers. Oh, but he can jump unbelievably high, so it might not matter. <laughs> he could really kind of overshot the mark there, didn't he? Oh, man. No! This is getting ridiculous. No! My beloved candy! 
You dastardly beast! I wonder if you die if you run out of candy. Is that how you lose the game, or does the game just not have a fail state? Which I would be fine with. Fail states are not integral to uh, high quality game design. Whoa, okay, that was not good. That was way closer than I would have liked it to be. <laughs> so cute! Way to go, Colette. You truly are. No! Having a sweet adventure! Cannon, cannon, cannon! Oh, am I gonna turn into a witch? Nice. Unforeseen incidents. I will look that up. Broom. Broom, you say? Alright, let's try the broom. That's awesome! Oh, cute little guy. I'm gonna be sad to lose this power. I know it's gonna make the platforming more complicated, but I really like it. Is there a new Contra game, Trunk? Or are you talking about the original Contra? Which, of course, I've played. Oh, no! Slenderman's already here! Should not wasting it. Oh, no, it's just a regular race. Okay. I was chasing a ghost and he was giving me candy. What a delightful experience. Sorry, little girl. Didn't mean to bounce on your head like that, but... In my defense, your head was very bounce onable. Yeah, that made sense, what I said. No, it's the burglar! And he died. I think I jumped on someone's, jumped on someone's head in midair, which is kind of awesome. No! Oh, no! Nice. with those oh the bubbles contain candies oh he just smashed his brain on some spikes and i did that so really i'm no better oh my god i just realized those were coming out of a cauldron as if this game wasn't cute enough already nope careful yeah, I'll say this, the, uh, the, the, you know, competing kids AI is not fantastic. It's not a make or break thing about the value of the game. Uh, survival story, okay. Oh, cool. So when you say, no, I really thought I had that. No? Know nothing about Cambodia, Trung. What just happened? Other than the fact that swimming there is apparently quite difficult. If you know what that's a reference to, be the first commenter below the video to mention it, and you will win a prize. Just put in the time code for where in this video, uh, along, with your, uh, along with your answer for where in this video I did the quiz, so I can... Uh, Check that answer. And award you your prize. Boom. Spikes happen a lot in this game. And what is that, Trung? Okay, so... Survival game. Is it like... Is it real-time strategy? Is it base management? What was that good... What was that uh, base management real-time uh, strategy game... <laughs> For magic sucks. That's great. I played a while ago. It was uh, set in a world where demons are taking over and you had to like go scavenging for parts and getting into kind of real-time battles with the demons. I enjoyed that. And there were like hellhounds and bloody skeletons running around. Just a solid experience, that one. Oh, candy monsters. I love candy monsters. Oh, Vietnam. Wow. No! Candy thieves! Oh. He didn't have any candy for me to thieve away from him. That's fine. Oh, cool. 
Oh, mine. Oh, it's a sleeping ghost baby. He's going to drop candy, is what I learned. I'm not that good at keeping up with him. Also, just FYI, candied apples are disgusting. Well, I lucked out there. <laughs> they have come up with a pretty surprising number of... Uh, Uh-oh, I think we might finally have a level that's auto-scrolling. And I was just complimenting the game for not have. Oh, no, it's not. I was just going up the level really quickly. One of my uh, favorite NES games. Very early S NES games. No! <laughs> that's so good! Uh, actually... Yeah! One of my favorite early NES games... Uh, had a, it had a lot of vertical scrolling in it, right? And the thing that was so notable about it compared to a lot of other games of vertical scrolling was there was... No! You bastard! There was no punishment for falling down. You would just fall down to earlier in the level. It didn't, like, cancel out the existence of earlier... No! You son of a... Oh, that was almost terrible. I almost died just then. Oh, okay, well, this is a problem. That was a problem the developer did not anticipate. Yes! Um, have we entered hell? Has all of my naughtiness gotten me dispatched to hell? Because I'm not saying she wouldn't have had it coming, but... That does seem pretty harsh, gang. Gah! Uh, that one's on me. Luckily, there was a continue point, even though it's a Slenderman level. It's a pretty cute game. And like I said, if this thing is like a dollar or two... What? I'm on fire! I didn't catch on fire. He caught on fire. Like, the other kid caught me on fire. And then... Touched me. Or I ran into him, I guess. And that caught me on fire, which is actually like a pretty good thing from a game design standpoint. Rarely do, uh, in games, things get caught on fire. What are we going to do to him this time? Nice! And now I'm a fireman! 7554. That's true. Hose, J key or X button? Interestingly, the, uh, the, uh, X, sorry, that, no, you fool, you foolish fool. Be more careful, Hoguru. Uh, the water seems to make it so you can't run it f as fast forward, which is quite realistic. Well, not quite realistic, but, oh, also, when you get set on fire, it makes you just run straight ahead with no control, which is also kind of nice. What I'm saying is they've put a lot of more thought into the physics of this game world than you might necessarily expect from a, uh, a very simple platformer. Like 16-bit style fla uh, platformer. <laughs> you suck at being a fire person. Firefighter is the term I'm looking for. Oh, come on. I stopped that fire that time. You know, kid, I just rescued you from being on fire. It seems like you could at least give me some of your candy. Who is this kid? Oh, no! It's a fire imp! Okay, that was pretty awesome. No! Then I screwed up completely! Can I kill the fire kids, or... Apparently I cannot kill the fire kids. Oh, wait. Were the fire kids just... Burglars that have caught on fire? No, they, they are regular guys you can kill. They were just unrelated to that. A couple of burg burglars in front of me. No, it's the candy burglar! And now the candy burglar's on fire. 
That might have been my best performance ever at platforming. No. In this. <laughs> you fool! That water was supposed to help people! Okay, be careful around spikes uh, when you're on fire. Lesson learned. Those kids both impaled themselves and don't feel great about my involvement in that situation. I mean, I didn't help them, but... I like the little arms... Uh, shake she makes when she stops ru sprinting from fire. Sorry, kid. I hope I didn't, like, throw you into spikes or anything. Oh, the blue ones are jumping! So if anyone out there is a big fan of Cthulhu... Cthulhu... Mythos, uh, games... Tomorrow night on the stream, we're going to be playing a brand new Cthulhu Mythos game. Are you saying, wait a minute, Hogaru, did you get the new Call of Cthulhu game? And, uh, somehow get permission to play it on stream three weeks early? No, of course not. Of course neither of those things happened. What are you, crazy? Uh, no, I just, uh, Actung Cthulhu Tactics, uh, released... T releases tomorrow, and they sent me a copy of it, so I'm good to go. Okay. <laughs> the amount of ways they've managed to come up with a firefighter destroying people is kind of amazing. Oh, I see. They've got a fiery tree stump they spawn from. And if you were that, uh, fiery... If... And what do you think you would call that fiery tree stump there? If if you had to name it. What what do you think? What what would you call that fiery tree stump? If you know the correct answer to this and can tell me what I was referencing by asking the question, uh, and you're the first commenter below the video to mention all of that, you will win a prize. Just uh remember to put a time code in with your answer below the video so I can ga ha ha. That was close. Uh, so I can check your answer in the future and award you your prize. Careful and done! This is going great. She was riding a herd of armadillos because this game's world is wonderful. That one's on me. I think the thing that's impressing me most about the game is the way it's jumping around from missions where you run uh, no where you run you know infinitely towards it not infinitely but in a scrolling world towards a target and missions where you come on we can do it We got this. Hell yes! Uh. Aww. She finally got back at us. Wait a minute, how's this all this. How is there all this fire during a thunderstorm? Also, where's Slenderman? Uh. So these. these. Yeah! Every time he gets me. Anyway, uh, these blue guy, these blue fire guys, actually remind me of a character from a video game. Uh, a deadly fire guy. Is that thunder? Ooh. Uh, who's constantly jumping at you? Do you know uh, what video game? Oh my god! I just jumped off of Slenderman to save myself from a, a fiery death. Okay, not a problem. Hey, guys. There's two of them now. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Characters who are made out of fire and bounce up and down to attack you. Can you tell me what video game that makes me think of? Be the first commenter below the video to mention it, and you will win a prize. Just uh, put a time code in with your answer in the video. Uh, so I can check that answer and award you said prize. And no! You bastard! That was amazing. Ah. So is the twist now because there's two of them? I have 
found Slender Man a significant other and he's not going to bother me anymore? Oh. I'm back to normal. And we've reached the castle and the entire forest burned down. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I wasn't planning on playing this whole game, but we might be playing this whole game, everybody. It ended up being really cute, and I'm really having a good time. And it is leading to, like, way more quizzes than I thought it was going to lead to. Like, I did not imagine for a second that it was going to be this quiz-tensive. There's walking spikes, everybody. Everything's about to start sucking. Wait, didn't we already see that? And that was just a, uh... Well, that sucked. That could have sucked less. It's weird, they've got rope back, but I don't have, uh, hook abilities anymore. Um, we got a problem. There are guys in front of and behind me. All right, problem solved. You bastard. Thank you. No! Ugh! I did not know old jack-o'-lanterns were turnips. That sounds crazy. Are turnips big enough that you can turn them into jack-o'-lanterns? I mean, they are candle-shaped. That spike is killing so many people. I do not enjoy being stuck between spikes. As cute as these walking spikes might be. And believe you me, they are cute. I stole all of the uh, burglar's candy. Which... I mean, I'm calling this by a guy a burglar and I'm being a jerk and enjoying when he dies. But at the same time... Nice. Um... Like, he's just picking... He's not stealing the candy from other people. He's just picking up off the ground the same way I do, so... Is he really the villain here, or are we all equals? Yeah, they're just showing us old ones. But the signal is breaking down because I'm getting, I guess, farther away from town? I wonder what the logic there is. Are we heading towards a, a melancholy ending? Where she realizes that all this candy thievery wasn't worth it? Are we... Candy thievery is always worth it. Or are we ed heading towards an ending where, like, damn, though, reality starts breaking down? No! Oh, you monsters! No, 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 no! God damn it! Sorry, I didn't mean to get so aggressive there, but they... Ah, they missed my, made me miss my chance to get the uh, continue point. Oh, thank God. There's another continue point. Whew, that was close, huh? Ah! Whoa, hey there. <laughs> Let's be more careful than that, shall we? I'm getting on fire a lot this turn. It's, just, it's a metal house, so I'm not going to be able to destroy it. Well, that was weird, because that one was new. What? I'm a robot girl now? Who has all of the powers? I have the, I have all of the powers at once, and I'm a robot. What? That was a twist? This game just gets weirder and weirder, and I love that about it. All right. You bastard. I needed that candy for reasons. Oh. That's right, I saved all of your lives. And where was my thanks? Where's my parade? No, when I got back from the train station, train station, airport, they spat on me. 
I don't even know what she was supposed to do there. Okay, final level, everybody. We made it to the Emerald Castle, which is... Does not actually seem to be Emerald, but not important. Wow. I guess the bricks are made from Emeralds? They are definitely not made from Emeralds. What the hell? There was an above level. How did I get to that above level? Alright, let me try it again. Nope, nothing there. Yeah, there's an above level that I don't know how to get to. This game is so weird. It is weird that, uh... No! It is, you're right, it is very weird that uh, Brits call cookies biscuits. And I don't know if you have anything called cookies, but we have something called biscuits. That was so strange. Oh, you're gonna get what's coming to you. Biscuits. Dinner biscuits. You know, like crumbly rolls that you put gravy on. Biscuits. What did your family call biscuits? Okay, that's because of Brits in the family, I assume. Probably. Yeah, no, like biscuits are the the puffy but flaky thing that Southerners eat. Want to be really confused in life? Have your family use both British and North American words for things. Yeah. And French words for things. It gets real confusing real fast. This is a... I feel like this might be one of those things where there's just one level, because this level is huge. Although I could be wrong. But y'all see how huge this level is, right? There's been four... This is the no, fourth stage. Yeah, that was close. The real question is, is this Slender Man's house? I guess, no, that's not that important a question, but I do want to know whether or not this is Slender Man's house. My god, Robo version of the character is best version of character. Kaboom! Oh, you get candy for putting out fires! How did I not notice that until now? This level is huge. Yes! Um... Uh, the biscuits are pretty close to scones. That's absolutely right. Uh, although scones tend to be more malleable and spongy than biscuit biscuits. And then we have English muffins, which are a whole other thing. I think come on, come on, come on. It's the ending. It's the ending. Like, yep, I started to break the world. world. Alright, here we go. Showdown. Final battle between me and Slenderman. We're going to settle this once and for all, and I promise not to be freaked out and scream when he appears for the first time in this game. I think when you die, it doesn't reset your counter, so you might actually lose the game if you ran out of time. What? Well, this is already pretty awesome. Hey, thief. Sorry for consigning you to doom and stealing your candy, but it's what I do. All right, here he comes. What the hell is that thing? Slender Man has decided he wants candy of his own. So he's gone to collect the candy. Oh, damn it, he's setting off all the traps! You son of a... Also, he might be crying. Slenderman does, and he's not taking my candy anymore. I think after losing to me over and over again, Slenderman's having a pretty rough night. And I would take pity on him had he not been such a dick this whole time. The hell, there's two of them. There was two of them last time as well. That's right, I'm now, after this whole game of running away from Slenderman and having him steal my candy, now I'm the aggressor. 
and I'm stealing Slenderman's candy. What a great reversal. What the hell is That's that King thing? Slender. She's, sorry, Queen Slender. And she's obviously not that slender. Did it did did it did it I am a Saizu. No, she can jump! What? I didn't know she could jump! I mean it makes sense. Yeah, that's a pretty terrifying monster to end the game on. What? Bonk. Why won't you just fall to your death? Creepy slender monsters? I think that's its desired intention. Like, I think that's that's the author's... No! My beloved candy! Oh my god! Like 70 candy! Oh my god, I'm getting slaughtered candy-wise. Oh, we did it! Wow. And there goes the television. Oh! She blew up the TV. Oh, cool. Thanks, Crystal ha Hill. You did it, Mark and Crystal Hill. You did a great job. I'm very happy with the, uh... Wisp voice acting. I didn't know it was voice acting. Just thumbs up, Mark and Crystal Hill. You did a great job. And Kevin McLeod is always put in some great music anyway uh thanks for sending me this copy of your game i'm going to recommend it to anyone who wants a kind of intense but super cute platform experience uh assuming it is in the one to three dollar range anyway i have been the hidden object guru thanks for coming on this journey with me if you had a good time and you'd like to see more there's buttons for that questions suggestions and answers to my quiz zzz no <laughs> go into the comment section below the video and if you'd like to be here for the live streams of these games get played, I would check out the Discord channel. Yes! Uh, I think that's that. I didn't get a time bonus. I didn't get a time bonus. So I'll see you back here for new for... Wow! Back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, au revoir. I'm, I'm worse than Mark and Crystal, but better than Daxter, who is probably their dog. <laughs>